Guyane's Canal Syndrome, Ulnar Tunnel Syndrome. The ulnar nerve arises from the medial cord of the brachial plexus. After the ulnar nerve passes through the arm, it runs from the medial epicondyle to the busy form bone, interest in a direct trajectory. Two carpal bones are important in relation to the ulnar nerve in the rest, the busy form and the hamate. Both the ulnar nerve and the ulnar artery enters Gans Canal. The Gans Canal is approximately 4 cm long. The ulnar nerve enters the rest medial to the artery. The Gans Canal has one proximal entrance and two distal exits, one superficial and one deep. The Gans Canal contains the ulnar nerve with its superficial sensory and deep motor branches. Ulnar nerve compression neuropathy occurs in Gans Canal. The most common causes include Volar ganglia cyst may protrude or grow into the canal, which could compress the ulnar nerve. Hook of the hamate fracture. The hook of the hamate fracture can lead to neuropathy of the nerve in the tunnel. Repetitive trauma. Compression and inflammation also can result from repetitive trauma, such as using a hammer. An ulnar nerve thrombosis. Trauma over the hook of the hamate where the superficial branch of the palmar artery leads to vascular insufficiency of the ulnar side of the hand. Palmaris previs muscle hypertrophy. You can see how you diagnose that as you can see in that illustration. Busy form fracture or dislocation, an ulnar nerve compression may occur as a result of busy form dislocation or fracture. What are the boundaries of Guyane's canal? The floor is the transverse carpal ligament. The roof is the volar carpal ligament. The ulnar border is the busy form and busy hamate ligament and the radial border is the hook of the hamate. Here is a cross section that illustrates the boundaries of Gans Canal. What are the zones of Gans Canal compression? Zone 1, location, proximal bifurcation of the nerve. Symptoms, mixed motor and sensory. Common causes, ganglia and the hook of hamate fractures. Zone 2. Location. Deep motor branch. Symptoms. Motor only. Common causes. Ganglia and hook of hamate fractures. Zone 3. Location. Superficial sensory branch. Symptoms. Sensory only. Common causes. Under artery thrombosis or aneurysm. The deep branch of the ulnar nerve innervates all of the interosseous muscles and the third and the fourth lumbricals. The deep branch of the ulnar nerve also innervates the hypothenar muscles, the adductor pollicis muscle, and the deep head of the flexor pollicis brevis muscle. You can see in my video about muscles of the hand, thenar, and the hypothenar groups. And that video explains in detail about these muscles. The superficial branch of the ulnar nerve is mainly sensory. It gives supply to the digital nerves of the fourth and the fifth fingers and the motor branch to the palmaris brevis muscle. Here is the area of sensation for the superficial and palmar branches. And it is important to know the difference between the area of sensation of the superficial and the palmar branch. What are the symptoms? Based on location of the compression in Guyane's canal, the affected area of the nerve may be purely motor, purely sensory, or a mixture 
of motor and sensory. Patient may have pain and paresthesia in the under one and a half digits. You may have clawing of the fourth and fifth fingers, loss of the function of the intrinsics. It normally flexes the MCP and extends the IP joints. In low ulnar nerve injury, the flexor digitorum profundus is working, is functional. It flexes the fourth and the fifth fingers and causes the clawing. It is unopposed by the intrinsics because the intrinsics are not working. The ulnar nerve palsy result in paralysis of the intrinsic muscle Test the first dorsal interosseous muscle and check for atrophy. Check for wasting and atrophy. And you can see the patient is trying to abduct the finger against resistance. Also, the patient may have weak pinch. 70% of the pinch is lost due to loss of the adductor muscle. So, Froman's test is positive. The Froman test is a good test for the under nerve palsy or for the under nerve injury. When pinching a piece of paper between the thumb and the index finger, the thumb IP joint will flex if the adductor pollicis muscle is weak due to under nerve palsy. Patient may have weak grasp due to intrinsic weakness. Wartenberg sign, abduction of the fifth finger due to under nerve palsy. Do we do the Allen test? Yes, we do the Allen test to check for under artery thrombosis. The Allen's test tests the circulation of the hand through evaluating the arteries in the rest. Carpal tunnel View x-rays and CT scans are useful to evaluate hook of the hamate fractures and non-unions. The MRI is useful to evaluate ganglion cysts. Ultrasound is useful to check vascular status of the hand and to diagnose ulnar artery thrombosis. Imaging and nervous studies are helpful. What is the differential diagnosis? High or low ulnar nerve injury? In low ulnar nerve injury or compression, the flexor digitorum profundus muscle is working, flexing the fourth and the fifth fingers and causing clawing of these two fingers. High ulnar nerve palsy, there is less clawing of the fourth and fifth fingers. There is a sensory deficit to the dorsum of the hand. In cubital tunnel syndrome, you can also find tenel sign at the elbow and positive elbow flexion test. The dorsal cutaneous branch arises before Guyane's canal. If you have a high nerve palsy, there will be sensory deficit on the dorsum of the hand because that nerve will be affected. If you have a low nerve palsy, that nerve will not be affected because it already branched out or came off from the nerve and escaped. So the sensation of the dorsum of the hand will be okay. How about the treatment? Non-operative treatment such as activity modification, non steroidal and splinting. How about surgery? In patients diagnosed with both carpal tunnel and the ulnar tunnel syndrome, the Guyane canal is adequately decompressed by the release of the carpal tunnel. Local decompression, especially if non-operative treatment fails, Decompression of the ulnar nerve by addressing the cause. The success of surgery depends on finding a cause. Determine the cause of compression. Explore and release of all three zones in Guyane's canal. 
vascular treatment of the ulnar artery thrombosis, Hockhoff hamate excision, decompress ganglion cyst, release hypothenar muscle origin. All of these things are possible causes that need to be addressed. Tendon transfer in late cases, correction of claw fingers, restore power pinch, improve Wartenberg sign. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.